Hello everyone and welcome back to another Doctor Who action figure review. Now today I'm going to be taking a look at another B&M set and this is of the Unit 1975 Terror of the Zygon Collector set. Firstly, taking a look at the packaging, this is the usual style guide for now with the figures displayed nicely in the centre. You've got the Doctor Who logo, the illustration of the TARDIS and the limited edition sticker with the name of the set along the bottom as well. On one side you've got a illustration of the TARDIS and on the other side you've just got where the window extends around. On the back you've got an image of the three figures that are included in the set and on the top you've just got the Doctor Who logo again and what the figures are inside and then on the bottom you've just got your usual product and company information. Taking a look at the main draw of the set which is the fourth Doctor this is basically a figure that is long overdue at this point in time. So the head sculpt is brand new for this figure and it's got the beret sculpted on nicely so you've got the sort of feathers at the front, the badge and the pom-pom on the top. But the face sculpt is, it's not the sculpt's fault and we know that because we saw the Affable Design Company's uh, render, the CAD file of it a few weeks ago. But the paint up on the eyes just seemed to let it down a little bit as well but it's a mass retail figure so we can sort of let that one slide. So if we take a look at the body, this is a reuse of the Duffelcoat 4th Doctor which was used on the Sontaran experiment and the Genesis of the Daleks variant a few years back. This jacket is now painted in a dark brown colour and you can see his jacket coming out from underneath that he wears for the rest of the story. The waistcoat isn't 100% accurate because he didn't actually have the tie on in the episode but let's not go there. And the trousers are moulded in a grey plastic and it's sort of got a brownish and black speckled effect on the bottom. Obviously the Doctor doesn't wear his traditional scarf in the episode so there is a new sculpt piece which represents his tartan scarf quite nicely. So taking a look at the articulation on the fourth Doctor, the head can swivel side to side, the arms can do a full 360 as can the biceps, there's a 90 degrees at the elbow and 360 at the wrists. The waist can do a 360 and the legs can kick forward and out to the side but are hindered. The thigh has a 360 swivel and there's a 90 degrees bend at the knee. And moving on to the unit soldiers, so we've got Sergeant Benton again and we've got whatever this Yates hybrid thing with the Freddie Mercury tash is. So the bodies use the same base as the previously released Claws of Axos unit soldiers so you've got the dark green neckerchief you've got the camo effect you've got the pockets and the buttons and the belt buckle with the pouches etc all sculpted on nicely and then on the shoulders they've both got the unit badge however Benton has his sergeant stripe so you've got the brown gloves once again and then you've got the lighter army green trousers and the shoes are painted in I think a dark brown with a black sole the head sculpts for these figures again look brilliant, so Benton is exactly the same, it looks just like Benton in the series with the beret with the unit symbol on. And then you've got this standard unit soldier which is just the Mike Gates head with a moustache painted on. I really don't know what to say, it, it, it looks fine. So taking a look at the articulation, the head can swivel side to side, there's 360 at the arms and it goes out to a ball joint. There is 360 at the bicep and a 90 degrees at the elbow. There is 360 at the wrist. There's 360 at the waist and the legs can kick forward and out to the side. There's 360 at the thigh and a 90 degrees at the knee. These two figures do come with new accessories as well. So these are new guns which are accurate to the episode. I don't know. I don't know much about guns as you can tell. Overall, I do think it is a nice enough set, so you get a fourth Doctor, which is a nice and welcome variant. Obviously, it's a gap now filled in our collection, and it is nice to have a couple more unit figures as well, and that's all I can really say. It is a very nice set. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned for more content like this. So, until then, goodbye for now. Don't forget to click below and subscribe. Well, how could I possibly forget that? For goodness sake. You've got the message, haven't you? Don't forget.